The sole Democrat on Georgia's Board of Elections has called for a criminal probe into President Donald Trump's phone call with the Secretary of State there, during which the president can be heard pleading with him to help overturn the election in Trump's favor. So how much legal jeopardy is the president in? Well, LEX 18's Mike Valente put that question to a local expert in election law. That's the big story at six. The hour-long phone call between President Trump and Secretary Raffensperger is drawing intense scrutiny tonight and raising serious legal questions. I just want to find uh, 11,780 votes, which is one more than we have. I only need 11,000 votes. Fellas, I need 11,000 votes. Give me a break. No one should be justifying this call as anything but um, corrupt and improper. But was it illegal? UK election law professor Joshua Douglas notes that both federal and state law prohibit the solicitation of election fraud. But he cautions it's more complicated than that. Prosecutors and a jury would have to determine the president's state of mind. In other words, did he knowingly intend to pressure the secretary of state to fraudulently manufacture votes? If so, prosecuting a president is unchartered territory. You don't want to let someone get away with really tearing down the fundamental rule of law and no one is above the law. On the other hand, I'm mindful of the fact that any uh, attempt to prosecute the president would be seen as political. All of this coming amidst a hugely consequential week for the country. The Georgia runoffs are Tuesday, potentially determining the balance of power. And Wednesday, Congress will meet to certify the Electoral College when dozens of Republicans in the House and Senate are expected to object to the count. Among them, Senators Josh Hawley and Ted Cruz. Well, I think you just named two people who are running for president in 2024, Ted Cruz and Josh Hawley. I, I, I think that that's what this is about. This is about political posturing uh, towards the Trump block of voters in the party for 2024. Trey Watson is the former communications director for the Republican Party in Kentucky. He says the president and Republican colleagues need to accept the results and he called the behavior on the phone call highly unethical. You know, I think it's clear what he was trying to do, which was to uh, bring the pressures of his office to bear on the secretary of state of one of the 50 states to change the result of an election. But most current Republican office holders in Kentucky have not commented on the call, and they've avoided many questions about the president's dubious election claims since November. This should be a bipartisan condemnation of this sort of conduct to really undo the fabric of American democracy. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell has acknowledged President-elect Joe Biden as the winner of the 2020 election. But Douglas says his silence in the weeks after Biden's victory was deafening. Mike Valenti, LEX 18 News.